Hi everyone, welcome to Ignite. My name is Phil Charles, and thank you for joining this exciting session on Accelerating AI with Fabric and OpenAI. Today, I'll be covering how Slalom is taking data science use cases built on Databricks and Azure services and making them easier to deploy, manage, and secure on Fabric workspaces. Let's get started. A little bit about me, I'm a solution architect in the Microsoft Center of Excellence at Slalom Consulting. Our business was built on Microsoft, and for nearly two decades, we've been delivering innovation together. Now let's jump into Fabric. Microsoft Fabric is an end-to-end -end analytics platform that provides a single integrated environment for data professionals and the business to collaborate on data projects. It offers a set of analytics experiences that are designed to accomplish specific tasks and work together seamlessly. Fabric's experiences include data integration with Data Factory, data engineering, data warehouse, data science, and real-time analytics with Synapse, business intelligence with Power BI, and monitoring, alerts, and activation with Data Activator. And now this all comes together on Fabric's One Lake, a centrally governed data lake which is discoverable and accessible to users who should have access to it in your organization. In Fabric's Admin Center, you can manage groups and permissions, configure data sources and gateways, and monitor usage and performance. You can also access the Fabric Admin APIs and SDKs in the Admin Center, which you can use to automate common tasks and integrate Fabric with other systems. Now leveraging Fabric, we can now explore the art of what's possible for our data science use cases. Fabric enables organizations to unlock the potential of their data by integrating AI models from OpenAI, such as GPT-4, GPT-3.5 Turbo, and embeddings. At Slalom, we invest in building accelerators to speed up time to value for our clients. We built a foundational OpenAI accelerator on Databricks. The solution is agnostic, and data science and data engineers manage the accelerator in Databricks notebooks, integrated with Azure OpenAI services. Let me quickly walk you through the OpenAI accelerator. Our accelerator is a system that compares AI responses to human responses and compares the prompt effectiveness. This is important because as a business starts to leverage large language models, human prompts need validation to provide closer, more accurate responses. This would be a foundational piece of LLM ops within your organization. In this accelerator, we can first start with the configuration tables. And in the configuration tables, we can see that the accelerator has three main parts. We have the concept of experiments, experiment content, and human responses. Now here's a sample of an experiment. You are an AI assistant analyzing the difference between human and AI responses to the same prompt. Compare each labeled AI response to the labeled human response below and return an analysis in the form of a response ID, common elements, differing elements, a similarity score, and a similarity reasoning. Here's an example of an experiment prompt. You are an AI assistant you'll be given a request for evaluating a short story. Briefly describe 100 words or less what the main themes in the following short story are. And then there's going to be a short story. So next is an example of a human response. The story aims to teach that sometimes ignorance is bliss. In the case of this particular story, this theme is combined with a notion that trusting your loved ones is important and that sometimes the secrets we keep from one another can actually serve to maintain peace in the relationship. 
Now here's the AI response. The story of the green ribbon is a cautionary tale about the dangers of curiosity. The story teaches that sometimes it is better to leave things unknown and that secrets are best kept hidden. The story also teaches that sometimes the consequences of our actions can be more severe than we expect and that we should be careful for what we wish for. Finally, the story teaches that love can be a powerful force and that it can endure even in the face of death. Now there is also another question in the prompts. What is the significance of the green ribbon in the story? And the AI response, the green ribbon is a symbol of the secret that Jenny is keeping from Alfred. It represents the unknown, the mysterious and the dangerous. By wearing the ribbon, Jenny is signaling to Alfred that there's something about her that he does not know and that he should be careful not to pry too deeply. The green ribbon also represents the power of curiosity and the danger of wanting to know too much. Lastly is the comparison between the AI response and the human generated response. Here's the output. Common elements, cautionary theme, the role of love and trust in a relationship, and curiosity leading to dire outcomes. Now some of the differing elements, the sudden death concept, and specific exploration on how curiosity led to Jenny's death. And now the similarity score, 70. The AI and the human responses are similar, dealing with love, trust, and the consequences of curiosity. However, AI's discussion of sudden death is not a theme mentioned in the human response. So that's the demo. Now the accelerator leverages two workflows. There's a generate responses and then there's also a response comparison. And now this is all orchestrated in the screen we can see here in Databricks. Now let's see how this can all be done in Fabric. In the data science experience, I have access to many services right here in the workspace to support my experiments. I can import notebooks to accelerate the migration to Fabric versus starting from scratch. And as you can see, in my Fabric workspace, I can replicate many of the same services as Databricks. Double clicking into the prompt validator lake house on one lake I can see all of the same configuration tables as we have in the foundation. I have also imported my generate responses in my response comparison workflows and can orchestrate the execution with Data Factory, just like in Databricks. When complete, I can see the results in one lake and can create tables in a data warehouse or use those results in a Power BI dataset for analysis. Having the entire application in Fabric will enable more access to data science services, easier and faster collaboration with the business, and it's all governed and secured in one lake with Fabric administration. Whether you are day one or just getting started with Microsoft Fabric and OpenAI, Slalom can help you on your journey. To find out more, search for Fabric and OpenAI integration on the Microsoft App Source and contact us today.